Hello, my name is Michael Keating. I'm a master candidate in the Department of Biology. Wetlands are the leading natural source of one of the world's most potent greenhouse gases, methane, 23 times more effective at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. Did you know that wetland plants are hotspots of methane emissions to the atmosphere because they draw up methane from the sediments and exhale it out of their stomata? They can do this because they have air spaces in their roots and stems that allow for important gases to be transported throughout the plant. Now very few people have tried to observe this plant effect in the entire Mississippi River Basin, but other researchers around the world have found that wetland plants greatly increase methane emissions from wetlands. So I set out to study methane fluxes from two wetlands in the Mississippi Delta region, speculating that wetlands in an agricultural setting will have high methane emission rates because, let's face it, not all those fertilizers stay on the farmland. A lot of it washes off as agricultural runoff into wetlands during precipitation events. All these extra nutrients have the ability to stimulate the microbes that are producing wetland me uh, methane in the sediments. The goal of my study was to compare methane emissions between vegetated and non-vegetated sites using clear plastic chambers shown, shown on my slide. Uh, and so I collected gases from um, vegetated and non-vegetated sites on 12 different days and across four different plant species. And do you know what I found? On only one day of all 12 of those samplings did I find any difference in methane emissions between vegetated and non-vegetated sites, meaning that wetland plants did not increase methane emissions from these wetlands. An unexpected finding was significantly different methane emissions between the two wetlands that I was studying, despite them being less than 400 meters apart from each other. The fact that they existed in separate drainage systems may contribute to the differences in methane emissions that I observed. The results of my study have led me to believe that methane emission hotspots exist in the Mississippi Delta and that they're influenced by factors other than plants. Just what controls methane emissions from wetlands in the Mississippi Delta has the potential to influence management decisions that will lead to improved air quality and global warming mitigation in the region. Thank you.